Hey kids, Selena here. Come out over here. Um, we are very relaxed and we're hanging out in bed. Um, I think this is like the second video we've done this and it's just so comfortable. We, we're gonna try not to do it too often, but it's nice. It is. <laughs> so today, like the title says, we are doing our 100 subscriber video. Woo! We are Thanks to all of you! Yeah, we're Pop almost, I think we're almost at, we're halfway to 200, so we figured we need to do something quickly. And we were watching our newest, one of our newest subscribers, uh, 100 subscriber video. Uh, her name, well, this, the name of the channel is Spice Life TV. Hey! Um, She's really cool and her video did a get to know me tag and did um, shout outs or maybe we just added that part. I don't remember but I thought it was a really good idea because we did want to do something where we shouted out the people who supported us and made 100 subscribers happen. And now you're going to get to know us. So I'll do the timestamp yeah. below so that you can see what question we answered at what point of the video. Ready? Where did you grow up? Am I answering first? I asked the question, yeah. Okay, so I grew up in New York City. I was born in Brooklyn, raised in the Bronx. Uh, I spent probably eight years in both boroughs, like each. Um, I grew up in uh, Patterson, New Jersey. Um, yeah there's no <laughs> i was about to give a history lesson but it's like I'm, I'm really proud of everywhere i'm from so i i know more than the average person so whatever google it it's a cool it's a cool place next uh, question where do you currently live we live together next question no. <laughs> <laughs> we live in hudson county new jersey yep uh who is your best friend uh, you should probably answer that Who question. is your first best friend? Oh, your first best Our friend. Our first best friend. My first best friend. I think my first best friend, I was trying to think of this the other day when I saw this question, and I think my first best friend was Quinesha in Brooklyn hmm. when I lived in Crown Heights. It was uh, Angel Camacho. Hello, Angel. Angel. You probably don't even remember me because we lost contact around six or seven, but I remember the weirdest names at the weirdest time. How tall are you? <laughs> we actually, I feel like they know how tall you are because yeah. I, I put it in like two, I think two of our videos. Yeah. I had a, <laughs> uh, uh, I had a friend in college that always says, uh, whatever I am in the morning, because apparently you're taller in the morning, but, uh, this morning I am six foot two. And I say I'm, sometimes I say I'm 5'5", five five, but realistically I'm pretty five sure I'm 5'4". Five five um, but like a doctor five. said like once that I was 5'5", five five and I just hung on to it. And so I say it every once in a while. Dogs or cats? That's not a fair question. Uh, we personally have a cat. We have a cat. She's... You've probably seen her on Instagram. Yeah, it's my red-headed daughter. Um, I, I like grandma says. She's blonde. She's blonde. She's a strawberry blonde. Yeah, that's actually a good idea. Um, I didn't have pets growing up. My pet was my younger brother. Hi, Kos. I personally don't have a preference, um, oh, yeah. but I, I love my cat, so cat. I don't know if I... I like dogs and cats. Obviously, yeah. I walk a lot of dogs. We have a cat. But yeah. if I had to choose which one to live with, cats all the way. Yeah. Uh, number six, uh, funniest moment throughout high school. I don't have one, I don't think. Um, so, uh, we were supposed to come up with ideas for a product for the future for God knows what class, and me and my group were trying to figure out one, and this is where it gets a little, like, X-rated, so put the kids to bed so I can say this real quick. Um, but I was like, oh, I'm gonna come out with Military Viagra, and they are like, Military Viagra? And I was like, yeah, so when you need it, you just go, attend, huh? That was my funny moment. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you said this in class? Yeah, 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 it was a cool class. I mean, I told you, like, it's an all boys school. I kind of respect <laughs> it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, everyone got a good laugh out of that. So. I don't, ha I don't think I have one yeah. that I can think of. That was... If I do, I'll put it in the 
uh, description. What year were you born? You're not supposed to ask a lady how old she is. Thank you very much. I don't know. Should I share my... I, I feel like with shows like you or like all these like stalker yeah. things, I don't know if I should share what year I was born. Also, I watch Mr. Robot and I know that these questions can be used against me to assume my identity. So, <laughs> so we're going to pass on that one. But if you're wise enough to Google some of the stuff we've already said, you can yeah, figure it out you already. Figure it out. Yeah. Let's say, uh, let's say uh, I am, uh, or the both of us, we are um, old enough to have a good time and young enough to still enjoy it. Uh, number eight, are you in? Have you gone to college? So I've definitely gone to college. Uh, and Kamal is, as you probably saw in that video from last year, uh, we'll link it up here. Uh, he is currently in school. Yeah. Getting his second degree. Yeah, uh, yeah, torturing myself because I, I loaded up too much on classes, but you know, I'm ambitious. So, short answer. Yes. Yes. What is your favorite drink? Uh -huh. Water. I like seltzer. <laughs> it really depends on what yeah. you're asking. It depends on what you're asking. What is your spirit animal and why? I really am not animal. sure about that one. My hmm. spirit animal? Like, is it gonna... Like, don't some people do like a person? Some They're people like, do do oh, a person. Oh, this person's yeah. my spirit animal. Yeah, yeah. Somebody said I was their spirit animal. I'm like, yeah. oh, I don't really know what that means. But okay. Hmm. Um... My spirit... I don't know. If I come up with something, I guess I could put it in the description, but I couldn't think of one when I saw this question. My, my I forgot about it. My spirit animal is uh, is Bruce Banner. Um, you can pick any incarnation you want, even the one from like the 60s or 70s. My, my incarnation is Bruce Banner because uh, people find me very intelligent, soft-spoken, and nice, but you don't want to make me angry. You're wearing perfume. What scent is it? Well, my mom totally left her Tiffany's perfume which is actually sitting right over there and I tr and I tried it and I was like man this smells good why don't she use this <laughs> so I think that would be my perfume uh, I don't wear perfume I wear cologne and it's a uh, um, uh, Swiss <laughs> Army cologne for men number 12 tea or coffee this is a little bit hard because usually I would just say it'd be like tea how rough was the night before true uh, but we've been drinking a lot more coffee lately. A lot more coffee uh, lately. But I would say the preference is actually tea. I like a nice uh, Earl Grey, milk and sugar, milk always first. Uh, what sport do you play or have you played? <laughs> uh, I think you should answer this one first. Um, I think I played softball one summer and oh, my cool. team won. It was like a week long camp one summer and my team actually won. And I was pretty into it, and I was like, oh, I play softball, but really, realistically, I only did it that one time. I played uh, soccer, baseball, basketball. Does martial arts count? I did Taekwondo for a while. There you go. Um, I won awards in, in most of them for various different things. Um, and then I got older, and I just didn't care anymore. And I still don't, I'm not really in, into it or anything like that. I like watching basketball. I don't like sports. I just, I don't get it. Have any books you read changed your life? Changed my life? Yes. The Bible? Uh, that's, I mean, that's it yeah. kind of did. Yeah. And even though, like, we don't, we're not very religious, but yeah. I, mm. I guess it did. Um, Big Magic Big by Magic. Elizabeth. That was a good one um, what's your last name? Gilbert. Hi, Elizabeth Gilbert. Gilbert. Who did Eat, Pray, Love. Um, that was a pretty good book and it really changed my perspective on um, creativity as like an entity, like something that can move between people. Mm. And if you don't use it, like you can lose it. And yes, like someone well. else write that book or create that song. It's a pretty good book. I have a few books that have changed my life. Um, 
I'm gonna give you, I think, five of them. This is not like a big like recommendation. I'm just telling you what, what it is for me and I'm not gonna get into the specifics as to why because if you read them, you'll know. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, number one, the autobiography of Benjamin Franklin. Great read. Uh, number two, the uh, autobiography of Malcolm X. Also a great read. Uh, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Great read. The Alchemist by Paulo Coelho. Great read. And the fifth one, I'm sorry I can't remember the author, but I believe it's the Four Agreements? Five Agreements? I feel like I should look it up. I'll, I'll um, have it like added like right here or in the description. I guess you would dub them as the self-help, some of them, but I don't really believe in that. I feel like it's uh, self-development. Yeah. Um, yeah. Shout out to all 153 of our subscribers. And just to give a little special shout out, these are the people that actually popped up on the list that we saw today. Victoria Murray, shout out to you. Food Mystery Live, shout out to you. Tony Two Ton, shout out to you. Hoyong Ralph Young, shout out to you. Paolo, oh. Levy. Levy, yeah. Uh, Shari Rivera. Beauty 2250 Nolo Favofo. Ash McCurdy, Kelly Salamone, Julia Steele, Danielle Wallace. Hi, Danielle. Willem Boykin. William. William. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, Will. <laughs> Erica Marie Lee Pagan, Mew, Dane Zara. Hey, Dana Dane. <laughs> the Couple, Danica Green. Trator31, Inez Rodriguez, Kimberly Sarder, Sequoia Gray, The Road Less Traveled, Avalon X. Okay. Uh, what is your favorite movie? Come out totally should know what my favorite movie is. It's Scream. Yes, I love Scream. I love Scream. It was just playing at his mom's house. Oh, well, like, we were watching TV. And All came, the screams. And I think they were was, playing them in order. Yeah, they were p playing them in order, and I yeah. was, like, obsessed. And, like, I could quote the whole first one, probably. And probably the second one. Third one, we just pretend like that never happened. And then <laughs> the fourth one, loved it. Uh, favorite movie? I have a few. I guess the... the the one that reigns supreme I say, I is. The one I think I... Can you can you guess it? What's mine? What's mine? Guess it. He told me it was Big Fish. It is Big Fish. It's a it's a good movie. It's got a great message. Spousal win. <laughs> yeah. Who are your favorite YouTubers? Which is like. That's a very broad question. Yeah, um, I think one of your favorites is Ali. Ali is one of my favorites. Ali. Uh, uh, psycho, psycho traveler. traveler. Yeah. I want to give her like the biggest hug. I, 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 I <laughs> wanted to. Ge I genuinely want her to be my friend. I want her to like call me up one day and just tell me about her day. I'm like, oh, you're so silly. <laughs> <laughs> I would say probably Alex. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. You do. Alex you like, Icon. You do like the icons. I mean, I like the icons in general, but yeah. if I had to pick between Mimi and Alex, I would probably pick Alex because I think I could probably relate a little bit more. Um, it depends on what it is and my mood kind of changes with it. Like Vsauce used to be my favorite educational one and maybe now it's CGP Grey or Knowing Better. Knowing Better is another uh, really good uh, newer YouTube channel. And then um, when it comes to movies, uh, Bob Shipman, Movie Bob, he's he's a great one. Or Patrick Williams, he's, he's that's another great lot. one. It's a lot, it's a lot, but I mean, that's, that's, that's YouTube. YouTube. That's YouTube. That's YouTube. Do you speak any languages and how well? Uh, uh, I speak English. I speak English. Uh, buongiorno. Buongiorno. Tu parli inglesi. Tu parli inglesi. <laughs> Io parlo italiano perché hoy noi practica. Something like that. Uh, yeah, he's yeah, actually yeah. better. He's way better yeah, yeah. Italian than I am. I am. Um, we went to Italy a couple of years ago, and um, I'm a big proponent of you should at least know how to say, do you know how to speak English in someone else's language? But yeah. I, I went a little and deep. And hello. And he hello, goodbye, where's the bathroom, things, things of that nature. I never know where the bathroom. 
Yeah. yeah. In other languages. And so um, I, I did a little bit deeper of a dive, and for three months I, I taught myself Italian, and, and I got fairly good at it. I was conversational. Um, I broke the language barrier on more than one occasion and did well. Um, we got yeah. free food out of it. Yeah, free food out of it. Yeah, we were striking the conversation. That was before about we started it. doing yeah. uh, the YouTube, YouTube yeah. so we don't have that on camera, but yeah, no. it was a pretty cool uh, I do have the clip after it happened because I was all excited about it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We were at a restaurant and I was talking to the manager and I asked him what the dish everyone was eating because we ordered something different. And she said, oh, it's, it was the carbonara. And she, she was like, oh, it's really good. Did you have it? And we're like, no. And she was like, oh, I'm going to get it. For and this whole conversation happened in Italian. So yeah. she was like, it was, oh, it's really good. You should have it. Sit down. I'm going to get you a plate. Yeah. It was, and it was really it good was carbonara. Really good. Yeah. I have never been that big of a fan of it. But Selena yeah. speaks more than one language, though. Um, I do speak a little Espanol. Um, I don't really know what I can say besides... Yo necesito practicar mi español. Mm. Yeah. Me llamo um, Selena. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if uh, it qualifies, but I um can understand a good amount of Jamaican patois. Mm. Um, my family is from Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Um. They've never really explained to me why, but they didn't want me speaking Patois. They said they'd rather... Maybe, I, I think it just had to do with the time when they came or whatever. Um, so I can understand other Jamaicans, but I my, I, I personally don't believe uh, I, I can speak it myself. Yeah. It's probably just a confidence thing, really. And but. actually, I, I can understand Spanish pretty well. Yeah. And it's helped us in our travels, too. Um, French, we do not understand well, but I am learning... I think I know how to read it a little bit better. Yeah, I can definitely I was read it using okay. Duolingo. Yeah. Uh, not sponsored, not an ad. Um, but uh, yeah, I was using Duolingo and like it kind of helped with this last trip to Montreal. Mm -hmm. um, but bonjour. <laughs> bonjour. Parlez-vous <laughs> anglais? <laughs> oh, je, oui. je ne parle pas français. I don't speak French. <laughs> Are you single or taken? I, I mean, my taxes say I'm single. <laughs> no, I'm taken. You should have known that if you were watching the videos. <laughs> I put a ring on it, son. <laughs> Do the dance. <laughs> what is your idea of a dream date? Hmm. Oh, I know. If you've seen, if you've seen Yes Man, uh, I the ideal dream date would be going to the airport and just picking a destination and going to that destination. Hmm. Whatever's flying out next. Homeland Security will be at your door. Yeah, but the equivalent was one time I did it with a friend. We went to the movie theater. Well, not equivalent, but something alternative was we went to the movie theater and played whatever movie was... I mean, we saw whatever movie was playing next. Oh. And I ended up seeing uh, the schmuck... Uh, dinner, dinner, for, the, dinner for Schmucks. Yeah, that movie. That movie is so stupid. It's so stupid and I would have never seen it, but... Experience, right? That's what I saw. Yeah. Dream date. Um, I guess uh, on the side of an active volcano while someone is feeding us some sort of Pacific Island food served in a pineapple. Morning time, of course. Delicate Blossom. Sean Farrell. Shelly Dexter. Osmelly Delgado. Hi. <laughs> Abby Bauer. Hey, Abby. Jay Dubman. I am Margaret. Hey, Mar. Beautiful Des. Stalin Delio. Stalindo. What's up, bro? <laughs> KK. Katie Scheimer. Hey, Caitlin. 24 Giggy. Gabby Nava. Road Lover. Anissa Davis. You Hi. said Robe Lover? Rod Lover. Oh, Rod Lover. I, I, I thought he I said Robe. Did, I probably did say Robe. Rod Lover. Anissa Davis. Hey, Anissa. Ron Figueroa, 
Peter Lindsay. Hey, Trent. Ashley Young. Ashley! Jay Yola! <laughs> Jason He. Lori Henning. Mommy slays. <laughs> hey, Yondo. Shayna Reed. Hey, Shay. Hey. Gladys Edwards. Hey. Brian Bruner. What up? <laughs> Tony Dangerous 82. You already know. Uh, Timothy Scheimer. Timothy Biggins. Check him out on Spotify. <laughs> Mr. Asphalt. <laughs> Hi. Shameless self promotion. And a special shout out to all of our other subscribers. I'm sorry if I butchered your name. As someone who does not have a common name, I know the struggle, but I can't help it. Colonize your tongue. How long was your longest relationship? This one. <laughs> Five years. Five years and running, kids. How would you describe your fashion sense? Meh. Splash of color for me. Uh, business oh. casual. <laughs> business casual is a description of your fashion sense? My fashion sense. I don't have a fashion sense. His is checkered plaid shirts. Yeah, I do wear a lot of plaid. Stripes, plaids, and graphic tees is kind of my modus yeah. operandi. And, um... Yeah, I do a lot of, yeah. like, one color and then a random, like, blue shoe or, like, pink jacket or... Yeah. What is your go-to hairstyle? Cut, uh, cut it all off. Yes, mm -hmm. and I love it when he cuts, well, he's bald, bald. It needs like a day or two to grow in. No hairline, I'm fine. She's calling, balding. <laughs> uh, for me, well, I have conditioner in my hair right now and it's wet. It's probably gonna gradually grow as <laughs> this video happens, yeah. as it dries. But um, my go-to hairstyle is probably just like putting my hair up in a messy bun. You've um, probably seen it a lot of times in our travels. How many siblings do you have? I have two. I have two. No, I don't. No, you don't. <laughs> I have one brother. And you've seen I think all of our siblings besides one of mine. Yes. What is your go-to fast food order? I don't really eat fast food. I think... Some with fries maybe? It would be like some type of crispy chicken sandwich. Mm. For um, you, I think... What would it be? Hmm. Depends. I, I guess if I get a burger, I want like a, like a rodeo burger with bacon. Something like onion rings, barbecue sauce, and cheese. If it's True. a chicken sandwich, it's a grilled chicken sandwich with uh, like a, a white cheese, bacon, and honey mustard. Um, French fries every time. If it's a veggie burger, it's probably with bacon. I think bacon is the growing trend here. Something with bacon. Do you use PC or a Mac? PC. PC. Uh, your most memorable vacation memory? Probably that... The carbonara story. The carbonara story is pretty said. good. Actually, that that Italy trip in general, there's a lot of like really cool Italy, stories. Yeah, Italy, yeah. Italy was that the entire. It was a Euro trip. Oh. We went to we went to three different European countries that trip. That, that whole, and actually, yeah. same trip. We same went trip. to Barcelona, mm -hmm. and another memorable or was it most memorable part of that was. We met Yvonne. At the Airbnb meetup, which they have never offered again, <laughs> and we use Airbnb a lot. A lot. But randomly, while we were in Barcelona, they sent us an email, said, hey, we're doing a meetup. You guys want to come through? We'll give you a free drink. And it has not happened since. Um, no. and, and we met our friend Yvonne. Yes. Um, hi, Yvonne. Hi, Yvonne, if you're watching. Hi, Tom, and, if you're home. And, um, like... <sighs> Yvonne and Kamal kind of bonded over music and yep. she was like my husband's in music and like it we were evolved from we, there. Yeah, it yeah evolved from there and um, We've I think I've seen them twice You didn't see them the last time because he didn't come to Vegas with me For the girls trip you would know that if you watch the video <laughs> Yeah <laughs> and then, uh, <laughs> uh, But she's not in the video yeah, I didn't put her in the video, but no. um, yeah, I think meeting her was probably one of the most memorable moments also. What are your morning evening routines? I think I need to get better at having morning evening routines, like... Um, 
My morning routine, and I'm I'm not ashamed to say this, uh, I silence my alarm w when it goes off, and um, I stay in bed. And I do not snooze it. I straight up turn it off, and I look at it, and just wait to get out of bed because I am telling myself it can't possibly be time for me to wake up. My alarm is set for like maybe like, say like my alarm is set for 5.30, I'm not getting out of bed until 5.45, 5.50. And it's like, all right, I guess I guess it's time to get up. So I'm not a, a thousand snoozer. I straight up turn it off when it's time. And I mean, when I, when I know it's like a hectic day, I will just get out of bed. But the morning routine is just like, dear God, is it time already? I don't like getting up early. Kamal says I just spring out of she bed. She does. And I don't. She's an automaton. It. She's not like an actual person. You know, like normal humans who breathe and like have a heartbeat and stuff like that. She does it. She shuts down. She goes to sleep. And then when the alarm goes off, it's like. <laughs> that's her. Every morning. Every, I don't think so. Every morning. I feel like I lay she there for a little bit jumps sometimes. out of bed. When she doesn't just jump out of bed. She's uh, sitting next to me and she's just like watching me and you can like feel the <laughs> eyes on you And then I wake up and she was like, are you up yet? It's time to get up no. <laughs> Evening routines I go to um, bed Yeah, yeah I put my... we, we were drinking herbal tea before bed for a while Oh yeah, which was, uh, that might be a good um, habit to Oh, actually I do have an evening routine My evening routine is before bed I take um my vitamins and any sort of like med yeah, medicine is. I've been mm -hmm. recommended. Um, we stayed with somebody at an Airbnb that was like holistic and she was telling us how- Our first Airbnb Our ever. first Airbnb ever, yeah. She was saying how, and I just, I openly just believed the theory because it made sense to me that while you're sleeping, it's better to take your medication because your body breaks it down slower over time as opposed to just trying to pass it to process it. And I was like, that actually makes sense. So I just started taking them at night before bed. Works for me. Do you have any bad habits? Definitely I'm human, of course. I don't have an addictive personality, so I don't think any of my habits are like really bad. That wasn't the question. Do you have any bad habits? Any bad habits. She said really bad. Nobody asks you about no really bad habits. Any bad habits. Oh, you remember when I said that the Hulk was like my, my, my spirit animal or whatever? I have a tendency to like, um, get real fixated on an emotion and hold on to it. And it takes me a minute to like, let it go. And it's never like a good one. It's never like, oh yeah, I'm real happy. I'm going to be happy for a while. It's like, I'm, I'm sad about something and I got to like, hold on to it for a little bit. And then it like, takes me a while to let it go. If I get upset about something, I get hold on to it and I got to learn to let it go for a little bit. And, um... It's difficult, and I know like everyone in my life has had to deal with me being upset about something that has nothing to do with them, but I'm I'm trigger happy because I'm holding on to it. That's probably like a like a bad habit. Um, I think I'm trying to think of what bad habit to share. I would say probably sweeping, and then leaving a pile of the dirt in the middle of the room. <laughs> And uh, I warned Kamal about this before we moved in together. I still step in And of dirt. he still steps in them and he tries to get mad. And I'm like, I told you that this is going to happen. And I understand now why I do it. And it's totally because I know I'm going to continue sweeping at some point, but sometimes it's not the same day or days. And then I'm like, there's going to be more dirt. I'm just going to add it to the pile. Especially in the kitchen. It's mainly in the kitchen. But yeah, that's my bad habit. Mm. Last one. Congratulations, you made it. Last question. Tell us one thing about you that we wouldn't know. Well, I guess I just shared this in our live stream, but you guys might have... I mean, I know all of you watch all of our videos, but I shared that I have scoliosis, and I guess you wouldn't really know that if you didn't know me well um, and I had a back brace in all of middle school which is like sixth grade to eighth grade and then when I graduated before I went to high school got rid of it 
Um, the back brace that is. <laughs> I am uh, I'm kind of a jack of all trades. I guess it's something that people wouldn't know. I've done a lot of things. None of them are really that big, but they're, verifi they're verifiable if need be. Um, I modeled a little bit when I was a kid. Uh, I was an extra in a movie that's coming out soon by DC Comics. Um, I'm an ordained minister. Uh, I'm a, uh, married like some. He's not gonna marry us. Some friends and and family members. Thank you. I hate when people ask me that. <laughs> Are you some, gonna marry yourself? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I've uh, I've officiated for some friends and uh, family members. Um, I'm a notary public. That's another one. And um, uh, oh, I'm double jointed. Can you? It just looks like you're moving your. Not everyone could do that though. Really? Yeah, give it a try. Try it. I don't understand what you're doing. I'm moving the bone from my middle finger from left to right. It's... It like slides over my knuckle. I don't know if it, it can actually like focus on that. It should be able to. It's focusing on our faces right now. Though. Yeah, well. You can see it. You can see it. It's not really like a thing. Kind of looks like I'm dislocating my. my right? That's weird. It is kind of weird. I can do it for both of them. But. So, yeah, that was 30 questions. I hope you feel like you know us better. <laughs> Cause you, that was a lot. It was a lot, and it took a minute too. And there's like an extended version below these yeah, questions. No. And maybe we'll no. save that for maybe like we'll, 500. Maybe we'll even break us up. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, but we'll see. Uh, like we said, mm -hmm. we'll put in the description the um, timestamps so you can just go wherever you want. Uh, so thank you for watching this video. I hope you know a lot more about us and you feel a bit more connected. And thank you so much for getting us to 100 subscribers. And, and beyond. And beyond, because we're like at 150 something now. And we're very excited to continue this journey and we will not be stopping anytime soon. This is not to get famous off of, it's just to share information. Love you. <laughs> Stay <Bye>. motivated. <laughs> Bye.